Guess what? We're almost back into the month of Ramadan. Subhanallah. Now, I want to share with you something amazing. From now, you must start planning what you want to do in Ramadan. And I'm going to tell you what that will do for you. The first thing is, don't try and prepare when Ramadan comes. Many weeks before, start preparing. How do you prepare? Slowly see if you can get into the habit of starting to eat less on certain days. It will help you in Ramadan. Don't get to Ramadan and the first few days you're fasting and it's killing you inside and you're thinking, La hawla wa la quwata illa billah. I wish there was no Ramadan. Okay? So stop all your burgers and your chips and your other things that you're stuffing down your throat and cut down because as a Muslim you're supposed to live healthy anyway. Okay? So start, start with that one. Second is start to take out just 15 minutes a day. Do some dhikr. Do some dhikr, just remember Allah. Do some tilawa. Start to read the Quran. Now start with a page a day. A page a day. Build your stamina. Try and do one and a half pages a day. Two pages a day. Three pages. Four pages. One quarter of a juz a day. Get to that level. If you can't, stick to your quarter juz. I know you're busy. Stick to your quarter juz or whatever it is. Don't let go. The whole point is if you can build that stamina up, up to Ramadan, you've got quarter juz, you've got a bit of dhikr going on. However you want to remember Allah with La ilaha illallah, subhanallah, alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, astaghfirullah, whatever you have, 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever it is, place that on top and a bit of dua. If you can put that together, alhamdulillah, you're going in the right direction. Now don't try and put it on, slab it on in one go. If you slab it on in one go, you will end up not doing any of it. You'll, you'll flop. So build the stamina slowly, slowly. And then if you can do this in the night time, when Isha, Isha is late anyway, you're just going to pray your Isha. You're probably tired. I know that. Yeah. Just pray an extra two rakats and you know, make the niyyah of tahajjud. That's all. That's all. Don't do too much. And then when Ramadan comes in, hopefully the habit is there. Your, your Ramadan is there with tahajjud. But build yourself up for it so that you've got a few extra rakats. I know you're going to do, be doing taraweeh and it's going to be long. But guess what? If you start to engage yourself with the Quran, it's going to be really good. Another tip I'm going to give you is, if you don't know how to recite the Quran, now's the time. Go out there, go to an imam of your local masjid, go to a course, go and find someone who's going to teach you how to read the Quran. Go and learn the Quran. You've got no excuse because every letter you read of the Quran outside Ramadan, you will get 10 rewards. And every letter you read of the Quran inside Ramadan, you will get times 70, which is 700 rewards. So Alif Lam Mim outside of Ramadan is 30 rewards. And Alif Lam Mim inside Ramadan is 2,100 rewards. Now, go and learn the Arabic. Get your tilawa started. Go and learn how to read it. And if you still got more stamina for that, Preparation would be start to re read a bit of the translation of the Quran and tafsir of the Quran little by little and try and finish it by Ramadan. If not, try and finish it over the whole of the year. But you know what? This will give you a booster of knowing what Allah Azza wa is saying to you. Allah is saying to you because that's what we're supposed to do. Know what he's saying, change your life according to that. Okay. And the final thing I'm going to say to you, brothers and sisters, is if you can before Ramadan, the best thing you can do to yourself is start to control a bit of your tongue or a bit of your eyes. If you can't do any of that, as in control it, start cutting down how much you speak. Start cutting down the things that you're watching. Cut down slowly. Don't do it all of a sudden. Slowly, slowly. Inshallah, by Ramadan, you're not watching any haram. By Ramadan, you're not speaking any haram. And after Ramadan, you know what? Try and keep all this up. If you keep it up after Eid, your tilawa carries on, your dhikr carries on, your, your tahajjud carries on, or your extra rakats carries on, and your control of your tongue and control of your eyes carries on. Alhamdulillah, next Ramadan you can give it an extra boost. And inshallah, bi'idhnillah, you are a Muslim that is a Muslim, a real Muslim. And inshallah, bi'idhnillah, you will love yourself on the Day of Judgment. Look forward to it because Allah Azza wa Jal is your reward on the Day of Judgment if you do your fast properly. Allahu Akbar. The reason why it's very important to make serious intentions already. We don't know if we're actually going to witness the month of Ramadan. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to say, Allahumma balighna Ramadan. Oh Allah, let us reach the month of Ramadan.
It's not yet Ramadan. I may die before Ramadan. And that's a reality. I may. Who knows? May Allah grant us all Jannatul Firdaus. In the case where we don't make it to Ramadan because Allah's taken us away, guess what? You will have a full reward of everything you seriously intended to do because innama al-a'malu bin niyat. Definitely all your actions are judged by their underlying intentions. So the hadith says, whoever intends to do good and was unable to do it, Allah writes a reward for that person.